Today we're going to be looking at the Barrier Bibs from Under Armour. They look cool, but how do they actually perform? We'll share with you what we liked about the bibs, and some of the things we think they could improve on. But more importantly, the reason you're watching this video, are they worth the money? bibs are part of Under Armour's hunting line and retail for about $169. But again, it pays to shop around. You can pick these up on Amazon for anywhere from $120. And actually, as of today, they are on sale on Under Armour's website for $127. So for somewhere around $150, you can pick these up. But should you? Let's find out. These bibs implement three of Under Armour's fabric technologies. Under Armour Storm technology, they're part of Under Armour's cold gear line, and they implement the Under Armour scent control. I want to start by looking at each of these and share our thoughts on each after wearing these for a full deer season. For the Under Armour Storm technology, fabrics are asked to repel water and still be breathable. These bibs pass on both of those with flying colors. I've worn these several times in the rain, though they will get wet in a complete downpour. They do a nice job repelling water on those rainy days. And unlike normal rain gear, they don't sweat you to death. And on top of that, if you do get stuck in a downpour, these things dry out extremely fast. As for the cold gear technology, Under Armour advertises these as an infrared technology that uses a soft thermoconductive inner lining to absorb and retain your own body heat. I have to say I was skeptical of this at first. Being that these bibs are extremely thin, I thought maybe this cold gear technology was just a way to up the price tag. But I have to say, after wearing them, they absolutely do all of that. The old pair of bibs I had were just a uh, Cabela's brand. They were twice as thick and didn't keep me near as warm as these ones do. So the cold gear technology gets a thumbs up. You get thin fabric that's really easy to move in, but it's still going to keep you extremely warm. The last technology listed is the Under Armour Scent Control, marketed to keep you undetected in the woods. Honestly, I own a few pieces of Under Armour gear that have this technology, but I still get busted a few times a year. As always, the most important thing is to play the wind. I'm still not convinced there's a clothing line out there that's going to completely block human odor. But I will say, I think there is some truth to this, because after a hot, sweaty hike, the inside of the jacket does smell a lot worse than the outside. But not enough that I'd go out of my way to make sure everything had this scent control in it. Alright, so moving on to pros and cons. My favorite pro about these bibs are these things are comfortable. Seriously, I've contemplated sleeping in them. I like wearing pajamas. The inside has a nice smooth liner, and the outside feels like a thousand thread count Egyptian cotton. That leads us into pro number two. Since the fabric is so soft and comfortable, it's also super quiet. Again, going back to my old pair of Cabela bibs, you could hear these things swishing every time you took a step. With the Under Armour Barrier bibs, this is not the case. Again, soft fabric and super quiet. These things come with a huge 20-inch boot zipper, which allows you to easily put them on and off with your boots on if you want to do that. And the last pro is the size of the pockets on these bibs. They have huge pockets located right on the thigh area, which is perfect for easy access when you're sitting down in the tree stand. And for icing on the cake, every button on these pockets are lined in rubber. So again, going back to that quiet factor, you can unbutton and unbutton these pockets and never hear them. And I'm not going to lie to you, I've never had any piece of clothing with rubber buttons, but these things do make a huge difference. All right, these things are comfortable, they're lightweight, they're super quiet, they sold me on the rubberized buttons, but they're not perfect. Here's a list of the cons we found with the Barrier Bibs. They made these things so comfortable, warm, and quiet that they're really not that durable. Wearing mine for just one deer season, you can already see wear marks where my harness would rub on the bibs, as well as marks on the lower leg where I would go through thorn bushes. So just keep that in mind. These bibs are designed to keep you comfortable while sitting in the tree stand, but not necessarily designed to be romping through thorn bushes. Outside of that, there was really only one other con that we thought was worth mentioning on the Under Armour Barrier bibs, and that's the price. So again, these things retail for $169, but even if you get them cheap or on sale, you're still spending well over $100 for these. Now compare that to like Cabela or Bass Pro Shop brand bibs that normally run you from about $50, bucks. you are sinking about three times as much money into these things. But I do have to say, after wearing them for a season, I don't think I could go back to my old bibs. 
I think there's some truth in the statement that if you're going to spend money on hunting stuff, you should start with the clothes. Because normally the more you spend here, the higher quality stuff you get, the longer you're going to be able to sit in the tree stand, which is only going to up your odds next season. Again, you're going to stay warm, you're going to be comfortable, and that's going to make a huge difference on those cold days. So if you're just starting out hunting and you're on a budget, these may not be the best option for you. But if you're ready to upgrade and get into some high quality hunting clothes, you're not going to get much better than the Under Armour Barrier Bibs. But hey, don't take our word for it. Go try some yourself. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you get a chance, go check out our website at www.hambrosoutdoors.com.